looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. Hello, right, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the all-rookie promo, as well as the Black History Month Part 3 of the promo, which does include some free players and some free stuff. So definitely excited to go through all that, guys. As you guys know, as with everything, always check out the missions tab to see what came out and what we can deal with. So week one and week two, week three is out. But of course, you know, it, it's going to give you some trouble because that's just what Madden likes to do. Let's go to solo challenges. Let's see if the all rookie sol uh, solos are out. As well as make sure to check out the Black History Month uh, solos. Okay, so we've got uh, Fritz Pollard, Doug Williams, and Ozzie Newsom. So Ozzie Newsom is the third one. So Fritz Pollard was the first one who was a running back, Doug Williams, QB, and we have uh, Ozzie Newsom, the tight end. Now remember, because it is Black History Month Part 3, we do get some stuff to go over. But before we do, head on down below, subscribe to the channel, turn on the noti bell, give the video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, smash the like button, guys, and comment. Doing those two things help out the channel tremendously. Comment down below which Black History Month 95 overall player you will be taking. And like the video. Once you do those things, I'll be very happy. Now anyways, Black History Month Part 3. So that does mean you can pick... The 95 overall version of one of these three cards, I believe. So Fritz Pollard, Doug Williams, or Ozzie Newsome. Personally, based off first glance, I really don't know who would be the best one to choose. I'm going to go to the auction block and kind of show you guys what their cards are based off of. Again, you know, go through all that so you guys can have an idea of who I would probably choose. But again, you know that stuff works. I mean, I, I don't know if the 95s will be auctionable or if they're just going to be, you know, typical, whatever. Oh, here we go. Here goes the A servers. But, um... Let's see if this is finally up. Okay, there we go. Complete. Complete all three weeks of the challenges to earn a 95 overall version of one of the future players. Now, I don't know if they're auctionable. They're probably not. They're probably not as well. Personally, I mean, a tight end. I don't know if I... I think Fritz Pollard or Ozzie Newsom might be the best ideas. I personally wasn't a fan of the position choices. I would have preferred some... Uh, the guys are great. Nothing wrong with the guys themselves. But in terms of Madden, pure Madden, I probably would have preferred some wide receivers, some cornerbacks. Um, maybe an offensive lineman maybe some defensive line maybe a linebacker I, I don't know but tight ends are tough one to replace unless they get the speed quarterbacks tough to replace unless there's some god quarterback and for its power the running back kind of falls in the same category so i just hope the stats are juiced right that's all that's all on that now let's head on over and see if the uh the uh, what's it called jesus i have a few packs to open though first i do want to see if i can maybe pull something out of there I got all these packs out of nowhere that just popped into my account. I don't know. For some reason, I don't know what's going on with Madden right now, but it won't. It literally won't let me even go into my binder. It's saying I have a max capacity, which isn't true, and then it gets an error. And I can't even see my team right now. I really don't know what's the deal with all that right now. But let's head over to sets and see if some of that stuff's out at least. All rookie. So all rookie, it's two subcategories. Complete these sets to earn all rookie players and items. So complete these sets to earn all rookie players. So guys, for so the first all rookie player, we have Javon Curse, who is going to be the GROAT, the greatest rookie of all time turn in both all rookie masters to earn the greatest rookie of all time 90 overall javon curse and his power up guys so he will be powered up and powered up 99 which is super cool you will also choose one of the 97 overall masters to get back as that offensive master chase claypool turn in all four offensive turn in all four offensive all rookie heroes for 97 overall chase claypool you will receive both 96 overall heroes and your choice of 195 overall hero back as that defensive master jeremy chin same thing James Robinson, that's pretty cool. Makai Becton, Raekwon Davis, Patrick Queen, CeeDee Lamb, DeAndre Swift, Cameron Dantzler, Mikel Walker, offensive collector set, defensive collector set. Now for these, you just collect five offensive rookie base players, exchange them for random offensive heroes, and two hero tokens. Defensive collector set going to be the same thing. All rookie players, exchange, exchange players for a random all rookie player, 1996. Again, very, very simple. Just basically, it's very simplistic. Now, going to the master set, let's check that out. The Javon Curse set. It's going to take Claypool and Jeremy Chin. Now, are these guys up in the block yet? Not just yet. You can only get one back as Nat. So, of course, we'd have to check out the stats, but Jeremy Chin was looking pretty nice. So was Claypool, but I'm, I'm hoping. So, they said that this Wednesday, we will be getting more power-ups. So, I'm really hoping that Chase Claypool gets the power-up, guys, because Chase Claypool was super great. If he can get that power-up, guys, he's going to be a great, great card. I'm hoping they give it to Claypool. It just makes sense, right? With all these rookies like James Robinson, Becton, C.D. Lamb, all these guys need power-ups to really be great. So I'm just hoping we do end up seeing some power-ups there. Uh, we have the exchange sets. Now, these are the hero tokens. Exchange a 90 overall all-rookie player for three random all-hero tokens. So... 
let's say Troy Pride Jr. You had him. You put him in. You get you get three total all rookie tokens. 91 overall exchange. Exchange a 91 all rookie player for four tokens. 92 overall exchange. Exchange a 92 overall player for five tokens. You will select which five you take. 93 overall exchange. Exchange all uh, seven. Exchange a 93 overall rookie player for seven tokens. Now I'm not entirely sure. Uh, right now, you know, they're, they're repeatable, obviously, but again, you have to get the players. I don't know exactly what the prices will be, how much everything's going to cost, because everything needs to be on the block. But again, you can go ahead and get those tokens and do with those um, as you choose to do. Now, the thing over here is, guys, as you go on down, all these sets just require, oh, Jesus, a lot of tokens. So you can go get those tokens, obviously, but it's a lot. It's a lot of tokens. You need 25 tokens now for James Robinson 25. So you could to get all these players, you'll need well north of a few hundred, to, uh, at least a hundred plus, uh, maybe maybe closer, maybe close to 200 tokens just to get all these sets done, and then to get these done. Obviously, I mean I don't know how much the if tokens are worth it, if all that stuff's gonna actually be worth in that in that sense. Again, couldn't tell you. You have to wait and see until the market settles out. And we see prices. Typically, the best option is usually just buying them. But we will see. Now, I'm going to try packs one more time here, see if it's still broke. Okay. I have my EA Play monthly rewards and my Good Morning Mana pack. I don't know why all these showed up now. Like, I got, like, four months worth of rewards um, now. I'm going to see if I can pull one of the all-rookie players. So, let's rip through the Steelers packs real quick. See if I can pull, like, a Chase Claypool. I don't know if those players are pullable or if they're set only. But I do want to find out here real quick. If we could potentially pull one of the new players, that'd be super awesome as well. Ripping through. Uh, let's check out some other stuff here as well. I'm only going to open up a few of these just to see if we can get them. I'll save the rest for the other thing, but I'm definitely curious to see if we could potentially pull something out of these. I've, I've not hit all year on these Team Fantasy Packs. I give them a shot every time, but you know, you know you know how EA Pack look works. It, it, it isn't for me. It never it never has been. Okay, so let's, let's get through this last pack here. We do get a power of Juju Smith-Schuster right there. All right, we're going to head out. Let's go check out if the solos are up now. They should be up at this point. They were taking quite a while, though. Uh, let's see. All rookie solos should be somewhere up here. All rookie. Okay. Highlighting some of the season's most impressive rookies. Welcome to the all rookie program. We have James Robinson sequence, Mekhi Becton sequence here. We have Raekwon Davis, Patrick Queen, CD Lamb, Swift, Dantzler, Mikhail Walker. Pretty much every rookie on here has a four game sequence is what I'm pretty much understanding. I go to milestones and get some coins. Nothing too crazy there. All the way down. And you get a 95 to 96 overall super nat fantasy pack all rookie. So you can get any of them for free. Again, I'll probably make a video ranking the best ones to actually take. Because there's going to be a few guys. Now, again, there's James. You can get any of these guys here. We're going to have to check their stats out. Go over them so you guys can see. But remember, today is the day you get your free 95 overall uh, Black History Month player. And you can get a free 96 overall all rookie player. I would probably take a 96 over 95. So yeah, you pretty much get a free 96 and 95 today. So make sure you are taking advantage and get your free players as well. I don't know how long these will take. These look like they're going to be all moments. Uh, oh, wait, no. Are these all full games? Oh, Lord, no. EA, don't tell me these are all full games. So that's four full games times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sequences with four full games each am i understanding that right wow four times eight tell me there's not 32 full games they dropped the ball on that one i may not be getting that player um you guys can go ahead i know it's worth it for a lot of people it's, it's still a good value but 32 full games I, I hope i'm misreading i hope they're gonna i don't know i hope they're gonna do something for that because that's crazy how many stars do you actually need though uh, let's see, you need 120 stars. Each game is approximately five stars. So five stars times four is 20. 20 times eight is going to be 160. So actually, you probably have to only play like in the range of like 20 to 26 full games, but still. EA, you dropped the ball on this one. That's a lot of full games. It's a lot of full games. That is a lot of full games. Uh, uh, and, and you know the thing is, if you played back in the day, like the older man's like 13, 14, 15, you know, those days, honestly, you're, that's, that's how games used to be full, five minutes, six minute quarters. That was kind of the deal, but we've been so spoiled to this point. I really don't think people can go back to that format. So I don't know why they would even try it. I think they think they'll keep people on the game longer by giving them bigger solos, but that's probably not the case. Okay. Those are the hero tokens. Let's see. Okay. So we got Patrick Queen up here. 
Again, Patrick Queen's really, really good as well. Uh, Field General, 96 overall. He's going to be great. Uh, he's, of course, he's a Rick Premier as well. Now, I don't know, you know, if you guys have him or whatever, but 96 hit power, 92 speed. There's going to be some great options to take as your free one if you can't. Edger and James is the LTD, so let's do go over him real quick. Edger and James, halfback, LTD for the Indianapolis Colts. 96 speed. Best running back in the game. Best running back in the game. He will get 97 speed. He will have a 99 speed with Sprinter. 99 speed running back. I don't know if that's the first one. I don't know, but damn. That will be a 99 speed running back with Sprinter. He will get 97 Excel, 97 agility, and he gets the agility. That's the beauty, and he gets the catching. His change of direction will be 97. This is the first running back that has the 97 speed with the agility, Excel, change of direction, trucking, and he's a power back. 88 strength. He's 6 foot 2. This is like a Bo Jackson that's more agile. 95 carrying, 92 stiff arm, 95 juke move. Guys, this card's insane. This Edgerton James is the best running back in the game. I'm super happy that you finally dropped a running back like that. That is a great back. It's going to be a great back. Sadly, he's LTD, but again, that, now that's an LTD card. I hate when they just slap LTD on cards that aren't that great. That's an LTD card. That is a card that's game-breaking that if you can that you can get, he's great. Now, again, he's an LTD. He's going to cost a lot, but he's a great card. But guys, it's better for the video. I pretty much covered what I had to cover. Remember, two free LTD players. Oh, sorry, two free players. A LTD, Edger and James, which is the best running back in the game. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Make sure to subscribe. Turn the noti bell. If you need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code POOL at checkout. I'm out. Peace.